Hello viewers. Now, if you watched my recent video, you will know that I decided to get rid of my hydrogen fuel cell Toyota Mirai and replace it with something far more exciting. So I've decided this will go in the next few weeks and I'm going to replace it with something altogether more exciting. Which is here. It's under this cover. It's my new car my new wheels, my new whip, etc. That in itself is not particularly interesting, but what is interesting is that I've never driven one of these. I've bought it, but I've never driven one. I've never actually sat in one. To be honest, I've never even seen one apart from in a picture. But this is my new car. Now, it was brought in here to the bunker early this morning. Lucy and Co covered it up and then rang me and said, your new car's here, come down. I still haven't seen it. This is an unveil. This is a one-shot wonder. This is never going to happen again. Okay? Are you ready? Is everybody else ready? Am I ready? Yes, I am. Let's move to the back of the car. Now, I should warn you, I should warn you that because this is exciting, I'm going to take my time over this. Um, so what we'll do, because you might find it a bit boring, down here on the screen, we'll put a time code of the point in the video where it finally comes off and you can see it. So if you want to just skip ahead, you can. I wouldn't, though. Everybody ready? I'm going to start peeling off the cover. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. That is a bit rad. Can you tell what it is yet? Since a lot of you have said I now look like Rolf Harris. Oh, look at the wheels. <laughs> New car. Shiny. You could have dried it off properly, Lucy Brown. There's a chamois over there. Can you tell what it is yet? Can you tell what it is yet? A couple of clues emerging. This bit might tell you something. Like, comment, subscribe. Look at those wheels. It's new. It's completely new. I mean, this doesn't happen very often, does it? You buy a car that you've never even seen. It's a bit of a gamble. What if I don't like it? Any guesses? Are there any big clues there? Maybe. <laughs> Bored yet? Yes, I'm not. It is, are you ready? It is the new fuel cell Toyota Mirai. You didn't think I was gonna give up on hydrogen, did you? It's magic power. And this is an altogether improved car. It's got a bigger tank, it's got more power, but a smaller fuel cell, it's got better range, it's got more toys, it's got fantastic wheels, it's got things like a head-up display. It's just epic. Look at that. That is, I think, badass. Look at his face. I think it's tremendous. Look at it, look at this. 
it just looks slightly sinister. I could have had it in blue. I've already got a blue car. I like it in black because it looks slightly sinister, slightly sort of air ministry, if you know what I mean. I'm going to open the door. Oh, Lucy, you could have taken the polythene off the seat. Of course I don't like it. Shot. Look at this. That's fantastic. It is coming alive. Information is appearing before me. It's full of hydrogen. Touchy screen. Oh, it's fantastic. It's just, it's completely new. Right. They're going to drive my new car for the very first time over there. On, engage drive, cameras come on, brake is off. Oh man. Oh yes. Well, I am very excited about my new car, but I've got to be honest, I've been in it for about 20 minutes and I've traveled I don't know, a quarter of a mile, maybe. The traffic is just appalling. And unfortunately, hydrogen doesn't cure that. The fastest I've been so far is three. And you can all go, eh, Captain Slow, that's probably flat out for you. No. Why have other people got cars? It's really irritating. Unnecessary noise. That bus has jumped the lights. And we're off. It's completely bloody silent, apart from the rain. Situation report so far on the all-new Toyota Mirai. It's very, very pleasant, up to eight miles an hour. That's a bloke on a scooter triggering the radar and the blokes on the bicycles. I'm travelling at low speed, obviously, so the cameras have come on, giving me the bird's eye view and the safety warnings and the radar stuff. That's all great. What a disappoint! Should we just give up? It's only 2 p.m. Yeah, I know, but it's going to be like this all day, and it's going to rain again, and it's grey, and the black car doesn't look very good against the grey sky. I mean, it's not much of a presentation, is it? Look at my new car! I'm going to achieve less than walking pace in it. I guess it has been like an hour of traffic. Yeah, we have been in this for over an hour. Well over an hour. I don't know what's gone wrong. I mean, it's London, it's busy. Being stuck in traffic is not a valid excuse anymore because it's always busy, but this is particularly stupid. So do you want to just film Look, driving on a nice summer day? Yeah, can we just wait for a nice, we'll go somewhere else and just drive it on some nice roads because motoring television is a lie and it's supposed to be a lie. The weather's always lovely, the roads are always empty and everybody's always happy. This is, this is just, demolishing the conceit by revealing the awful truth. Cut. <laughs>